Well, damn. That was surprisingly easy. Okay. One shot. One shot. I'm not gonna use it ever again. Hunting dinosaurs is quite a tricky business. I recommend helicopters. If you've got them. I know what you recommend, Hammond. It's going to be okay. Trust me. I'm gonna go this way this time. In order to not get ambushed. Ah, there's where you must have come from. Hmm. Maybe I should ditch the stun weapon and just grab that automatic. Either way, this will not happen again. He's running. Um, invisible wall or something? Hmm. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna have to kill you. Uh, I think I shot just one more time than I should have. Yeah, I'm... This stun weapon is cool, but, uh... <laughs> Ooh, I think I just saw a raptor run by. I think I'm gonna go grab that automatic, just, you know, just have the best chance. It's been a very eventful episode, though, I'll say that. Hasn't been used. Alright, well, it's about to get used. Looks like you tried to sneak up over here. Oh, there's another raptor. There are raptors all over the place then. So we are going to have to... We're going to have to clean this place out in order to really advance forward. Alright. I have been <laughs> destroying the wildlife on Isla Sorna. <laughs> Volcano would be the last of their worries. <laughs> hmm. I don't see anything, though, to be honest with you. It's all pretty empty. One of the things um, that I am extremely interested in checking out is an entire level that was cut called Pine Valley. I, I, I really want to check that out. To me, that sounds... Pretty interesting because it looked the most like the Lost World. Alright, took care of him. And there's another weapon over there. How much is left on this weapon, Ann? Feels about half. About half, okay. Maybe I should have stayed on the uh on the road. There was a gun up here, right? Yeah, it's right over there. What is it, a Benelli or a Spaz? Looks like a... Sh okay, I don't really want another one. Yeah, man, look, there's different branches of paths that you can take, too. If we would have stayed on the road... Oh! Hi! It's half gone. Goodbye. This place is infested with Velociraptors! This entire tribe hates me. Hmm. I'm not afraid of you guys anymore. Your fear factor has been greatly reduced now that you're just cannon fodder to my gun. <laughs> Alright, we've got an upturned engine jeep. And there is another weapon by that, so we can check that out. And it is a spaz. Two shots. Mm, nope. Eight shots. We're gonna go Muldoon. Almost oh. gone. And a hunting rifle. So we're gonna take around ten. All right. Cool. We are pretty much set. Then we'll be we'll be okay. Um. God, this is an incredibly long level, though, isn't it? Kind of outlandishly long. Uh, I don't like all this cover. I'm a little afraid. I see a structure up ahead. Oh, maybe that isn't a double path. Maybe, like, 
we go up here and then we do something. Left. That was really cool, but it didn't last that long. Maybe that's why we haven't had that much, like, human fighting dinosaur, Dino Crisis style in these movies. Because, I will admit, now that I've been killing them for a little while, and gotten better at shooting them... It's, it's nowhere near as scary when you can just destroy them that easily. <laughs> Like, now this guy's like, oh shit, they dead, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I do, I do think that we need at least one scene like that, because we've never had that in a Jurassic movie. Kind of like Muldoon versus the Raptors in the novel. But, uh, I do, I will admit that... Whoa! Oh shit. Safety. 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 Six left. Don't you dare come in here. You stay back. Oh man. Is there any other weapon in here? Oh, we're gonna have to use this. We gotta get out of here. Alright. We're stuck. We're stuck, ladies and gentlemen. Stuck together, thanks to you people. Alright, follow the screams. How about, uh... We already did That's Not the Problem. What is? What is the problem? Velociraptors. Alright, so we're going to do, uh... This is definitely not going to work. Okay. Uh, how about... Oh, fuck it. Use that. <laughs> okay. You don't want to come in here. I know you don't. I just unlocked it. Oh! Oh, they came from the side. I have died. Okay, we've got a lever right here, and we've got a door. Oh, the door just opened. What if I... I can't really do anything with it. It's open, though. Alright, we've got raptors everywhere. That's what I thought. We've only got three rounds. This is not going to be easy. Shit. Uh, there's stairs over there. Go, go, go. Go now, now! Go, 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 go! Don't look back! Don't look back! Don't look back! Don't look back! Ah! Oh. They can't get up these stairs, can they? Alright. How the hell am I supposed to get inside of that dam, though? Come on in, there's stairs. You have these back on Earth. These are where you're from, they're not crazy things from Isla Sorna. Alright. By the way, it looks like there's a big crack in the dam. I'm not sure what would have caused that. Definitely not the hurricane, right? Maybe a tectonic shift in the plates or something? If the hurricane did that, that's ridiculous. Alright. 
This level is outrageously big. Well, wow, it's not keeping out any water. Okay, well, this is uh, kind of insane, guys. I had no idea the level was this long. Uh, wow, and it looks like... Is there still more to do? Whoa, don't... Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I think... I know what they're driving at here. We're gonna save again. Uh, I think what they want us to do... I could be totally wrong. I should have done AJ Lookout Jump for this. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, no, that's not going to work. I was going to do everybody off the boat, but that ain't going to work. Uh, how about... Lunch is ready. Kathy, darling, lunch is ready. All right. How much do you want to bet that... Are you serious? Oh, well, I recovered quickly. Can I go this way, by the way? What will happen if I go over here? I don't want to try it. <laughs> this might kill me. Oh, you can... You can actually control yourself going down here. Yeah, that... This is what you're supposed to do. Ooh, secret. I first met Harold Greenwood in 1992. He was uh, an American. Introduced to me as a former Green Beret. He asked a number of questions about the disposition of the InGen technology. Harry claimed to be a friend of my former son-in-law. I liked him. He was confident and dashing. This is a well-believed Biosyn spy, if this is Harold Greenwood, which is, looks just like the picture. Oh yeah, he died. So this was one of the guys that survived on the chopper. Scared. He was wounded, he crawled in here, maybe losing blood. Guess he thought it was safe. Yeah, this was one of the Biosyn guys that actually lived. So he introduced himself to Hammond as a former Green Beret in 92, which in this timeline would have been after Jurassic Park. Obviously, that's not canon with the first movie at all. But... There's one down. About half a clip. There we go. It means no worries. When you murder the raptors. Alright, so... That guy just came up to Hammond and said that he was a former friend. Which is weird, too. No, he said he was a friend. Ah, who cares? I've got a whole other one. He was a friend of his former son-in-law, which would have been Lex and Tim's dad. He was a Green Beret. He just goes over there and he's like, Hey, I, I love Jurassic Park. Or something, I don't know. And then he ends up dead on Isla Sorna, Harold Greenwood. Uh, definitely Bios, and the, the, the guy was not legit. I mean, who comes out and he's like, Oh, hey, yeah, I know your, I know your son-in-law, a former son-in-law. Yeah, you want to tell me about your genetics company? Not like my body will be found on the island in a couple of years or anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's push on, shall we? Come on, everybody. Up. Come on. Up, up, up. God, this is ridiculous. Look how long this level is. That's another Velociraptor way over there. What is going on? It has to be over soon. This is... I'm kind of astounded that this game is able to build this big of an engine. Just a little reminder, this is the same level with the engine worker village. The Burroughs town. Like, what is going on? Alright, we're gonna start climbing this mountain then, which means we must be getting pretty close to the end of the game. Or at least I'm going to assume so. There's 
<gasps> the mountain with, I guess, the satellite link that we're supposed to use to radio the helicopter to get off this rock. Nothing behind me. The Velociraptor up there waiting to pounce. Oh, he's coming down. Hasn't been used. Maybe I should have uh, grabbed my other gun. Hmm. Sorry, man. Jeez, this is insane. All one level. Look at how far we've come. It's ridiculous. Clever girl. Not so clever girl. You're no blue, that's for damn sure. Okay, I think we're at the end of the level. Maybe. Yeah, whoa. That was outrageously long. And I think I hear dinosaurs right now. Go ahead and save. Another Lost World quote would be... Let's see, so now it's only a matter of time before this lost world is found and pillaged. Um, what's a quote from another character? How about Eddie Carr? Does Eddie say anything really cool? Or how about this, just this? They call the islands... Los Cinco Mortes. See. What is that? What does that mean? Five deaths. Okay, so this part of the game didn't really do too much for me. While I'll admit that it is pretty cool to get some more insight into the BIOS and stuff that was going on behind the scenes after Jurassic Park failed, I really think that the unnecessarily long portion of Trek was kind of ridiculous. I also think that killing velociraptors around the dam was a little underwhelming to be honest. I still think that it would be a good idea to incorporate Muldoon's battle with the raptors from the original novel in a new film sometime, but I also feel like this gameplay kind of makes me understand why they make mercs die so easily in the films as well. Once you've seen a few raptors get blown up and shot like the xenomorphs from Aliens, it kind of takes away from their menacing presence. Killing onslaughts of velociraptors kind of became tedious and a little dull. That being said, I've actually already recorded quite a bit of footage and in fact have made it all the way up to level 6 as of this edit. And trust me, things are about to get really, really interesting. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that you guys appreciate what I do so much, and I seriously am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. Honestly, it means the world. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.